The final race on day one will be the Paris Pike. The novice is Chase, we're still at Kelso on the heavy going. And it's a two mile six furlongs again, but this one it's novice, this time it's novices. And at the top we've got Master of Shadows for Joshua Sutherland rooting for you. David Hooley, Sablazzo Trouble, Alex Cherry, Tory Maximus, or Paul Rose, the Ice King, Leon Van Rensburg, Inuit Symbol, Ben Benici, Monique, Lulio, Martin Lidham, and Wild Neat for Craig Allen. So just eight then in this final race of the day, and away they go. And the Ice King is the first one to show. So they get to the first, which they're all safe now. They've got 13 more to take. And the Ice King with Inuit Symbol on its inside second. And then Tory Maximus third. Then a gap to Wild Neat and the Green and Yellow. As they get over that one, slow jump there by the first of the purple jacketed horses rooting for you. That's David Hoolis, the one that's the dark horse with the black cap. The grey in the similar colours is Monte Coludier. The back marker is Sablazzo Trouble. Well, it's the Ice King who leads by about three quarters of a length. To Inuit Symbol second as they get over the third. Then Master of Shadows on the inside is third. Then comes Wild Neat fourth. And Tory Maximus. Then the Grey Monique Lulio on the outside of Rooting for You. And finally, Sablazzo Trouble as they get to number four. Which they're all safely over again. And Novice is all jumping well so far. With the Ice King setting the pace and in the lead by about four lengths to Master of Shadows in second. Inuit Symbol third, Wild Neat fourth. And then rooting for you, Tory Maximus, Monique Lulier, and finally, Semblazzo Trouble. So the Ice King is setting a pretty good pace, as you can see, as they head towards the next. A lead of a good five lengths as they get over that ditch, took it a little bit carefully and lost a bit of ground in the air, but over it safely. Uh, leads by four to Master of Shadows, second Inuit symbol on the outside is third. Then rooting for you with Tory Maximus and Wild Neat, Monty Lulio wide on the track as they get over the next. And uh, Sablazzo Trouble for Alex Cherry, just the back marker, but they've still got a long way to go. More than a complete circuit on the track, in fact, as they come up to pass the stand shortly. And the Ice King will go past the winning post then with a circuit to go, with a lead of three lengths over Inuit Symbols in second, Master of Shadows is third, then Rockin', Rock, Rooting for You is fourth, and then Wild Neat fifth, and Tory Maximus sixth, with Monique Lulio the Grey on the outside in seventh, and finally, Sablazzo Trouble and Tory Maximus was a fall on there, Tory Maximus has gone, the leader of the Ice King hit it as well. So one down, very nearly two down, but it's the Ice King. Recovering from that mistake in the lead by two to Inuit Symbol second. Over the eighth they go. Inuit Symbol was the one that made the mistake this time. And the Ice King leads by two to Master of Shadow second. Wild Neat is in third. Rooting for you's coming through now to take fourth as they take number nine. Then after that one, Inuit Symbol on the inside. Monique Lulio trying to get into it as well. So Blatso Trouble is out of shot and appears to be tailing off. But it's the Ice King over the tenth. Clearing the lead still. Leads by a good four lengths. They've got four more fences to take. Just less than a mile to race. And it's the Ice King. From Wild Neat. Then Master of Shadows. Inuit Symbol back in fourth. Then comes Rooting for your Monique Lulio. Sablazzo Trouble. He's well tailed off and out of it. But it's the Ice King. At the fourth last, gets over it nicely, but a little bit ponderous. Wild Neat jumped in better in second. So did Master of Shadows. Monique Lulier moves into fourth, then rooting for you an Inuit symbol. They've got three more fences to take, and the Ice King has been in the lead all the way. Gets over that one in front from in second place. Wild Neat then comes Master of Shadows. Monique Lulier on the outside, trying to get closer. Then comes rooting for you. Now Inuit symbol starts to drop away as well. And the lead in five. Surely have it between them now. As they race 
towards the final two fences, the Ice King, still in the lead by two lengths, the Wild Neat Master of Shadows, then Monique Lulio, then Rudy for you, they come down there towards this second last fence, and the leader Ice King being driven into it by the jockeys, led all the way so far, made a couple of mistakes, but still leads by two lengths, Master of Shadows is second, over that one, it was the same story again, a bit of a slow jump, but he got over it okay, Master of Shadows in second, Wild Neat third, then Monique Lulio, Rudy for you, now dropping off in in fifth, but it's still the Ice King. One more fence to take. The Ice King by a length to Master of Shadows and Wild Neat. These are clear of Monique Lulier at the final fence. Another slow jump by the leader, but he's now being challenged by Master of Shadows. Wild Neat on the outside into the final furlong. The Ice King still in the lead, but now Wild Neat sweeps on the outside. And Wild Neat is going to take this one as they race now up towards the line. It's going to be Wild Neat that takes it. It's going to be close for second between the Ice King and Master of Shadows. Monique Lulier was fourth and then Rudy for you in a big, big gap back to Inuit symbol and an even bigger gap back to Sir Blatso Trouble and Wild Neat got up and took it at the final fence then Wild Neat the winner for Craig Allen, Master of Shadows for Joshua Sutherland was second, the Ice King for Leon Van Rensburg third, Monique Lulier for Martin Leader was fourth and rooting for you for David Hooley was fifth <laughs>